structure with what we are given is that you want to find out resultant of this system. Now this time the figure is provided, coordinate is not given. So you have to first identify the coordinates. We have three forces, one is P, one is T and one is F. Let's go. Is this point is lying on Y axis and check your figure. I think this distance was 12. Is it 12? This distance was given in the figure is 12. So what is the coordinate of A? It is lying on Y axis. So X coordinate and Z coordinate will be 0. And Y coordinate is what? 12. What is the coordinate of point B? So for B, how you have to travel? You have to first travel this distance. Is this distance is negative of x? That equals to what? Minus 4. And this equals to what? Negative of z. <coughs> so this one is minus 4, 0, minus 3. Similarly, what is the coordinate of point C? So you have to travel first this. Is it x of minus 4? And from this point, you have to travel this one. So this one is positive of z. So this one is minus 4, 0, plus 6. The coordinate of D. So for D, you have to travel first. That is what? 6. And from this, you have to travel like this. That equal to 4, but along z axis. So coordinate of point D is 6, comma, 0, comma, 4. We have four points like this. P is directed from A to C. So P bar equals to P multiplied by unit vector along AC is mod AC bar upon mod of AC bar. <coughs> what is the value of P given in the problem? 280. What is AC stands for? C minus A. Minus 4, 0. Minus 4, I. 0, minus 12. Minus 12, J. 6, minus 0. 6K. Under root of 4 square plus 12 square plus 6 square. Plus to 14. So, so this 280 divided by 14 is 20. So my first vector is P bar equals to 280 divided by 14 is 20 is minus 80i minus 240j plus 120k. Since T is directed from A to B, we have T bar equals to T into AB bar upon mod of AB bar. What is the value of t given to you? 260. So this is 260. What is a b bar? Is b minus a. Minus 4, 0. Minus 4 i. 0 minus 12. Minus 12 j. Minus 3 k. Whole thing divided by under root of 4 square plus 12 square plus 3 square. I think that is 13. 260 divided by 13 is 20. So all these numbers are multiplied by 20. So we have T bar equals to minus 80i minus 240j minus 60k. Now next force is F. Is it directed from A to D? So we will directly write down F bar equals to F directed from AD. So it is divided AD bar divided by mod of AD. Value of force is AD. D minus A. 6 minus 0. 6 I. 0 minus 12. Minus 12 J. 4 minus 0. 4 K. Divided by is 14. 2 and 0 divided by 14 is 50. 1 f bar equals to 90i. 90i and 180j plus 60k. Now we will write r bar. 
for concurrent force system is a sum of all vector forces p bar plus t bar plus f bar now you collect all of you terms of i plus terms of j plus terms of k collect all coefficient of i j k of this force this force and this force and confirm the value as minus 7 minus 660 j plus 120 k comparing with the standard vector we get rx equals to minus 70 ry equals to minus 660 and rz equals to 120 once we know rx, ry, rz, we will square them, add them and take a square root to obtain the value of r. We will go for cos theta x. So theta x is cos inverse of rx divided by r. Substitute for rx and r and check that theta x is 95.95 check for theta y cos inverse r y divided by r r y is minus 660 divided by 674 168.11 and check theta z as <coughs> r z by r 120 divided by 674 is 79.75 a vertical boom AE so this one is vertical boom AE is supported by guy wires from A from A to B A to C and A to D so these are the three wires one is AB and one is AC and one is AD the tensile load in AD the tensile load in this one, this member is AD member, is 252, that is given to you. And it is known that find the forces in AC, you want to find out what is the force in AC and what is the force in AB. So that your resultant force is vertical. If the resultant is vertical, does it mean that R bar equals to 0i plus Ryj maybe plus minus it doesn't matter plus 0k your x is 0 y is 0 we don't know about y let this force equals to p let this force equals to q let this force equals to t and let this force equals to f and we have given the force in this member that is ad member is 252 So this member is known. So P is directed from A to B. Okay, the coordinates are coordinate of A is lying on y axis 0, 12, 0. This distance is 12. Coordinate of point B is lying on z axis. But negative z axis, so x is 0, y is 0, and z is minus 9. Coordinate of C, coordinate of C is this point is minus 4 along x axis and plus 3 along z axis. Coordinate of D plus 6 along x axis 0 and plus 4. Now one by one we will write the forces. So we have t bar first. Let's say we calculate t bar first. So t bar is equal to t directed from A to D. So AD bar upon mod of AD bar. Out of this value of t is 252. AD bar is D minus A. 6 minus 0. 6i. 0 minus 12. Minus 12j. 4 minus 0 plus 4k upon under root of 
6 square plus 12 square plus 4 square 14 252 divided by 14 18 multiplied by this number is is this number is 108 I minus 216J plus 72K this one is our T bar X force is P force is directed from A to B so right P bar P directed from A to B so it's a AB bar upon mod of AB bar we don't know P but we can very well find out AB 0 minus 0 0 I 0 minus 12 minus 12 J minus 9 0 minus 9 K divided by under root of 0 square plus 12 square plus 9 square 15 now we want to solve this further so we get P bar equals to 0 I 12 divided by 15 15 is it minus 0.8 times T times J minus 9 divided by 15 minus 0.6 times P times K the third force is F force is directed from A to C. So F bar is equals to F AC bar upon mod of AC bar. We don't know. But AC we can find out as C minus 4 0 minus 4 I 0 minus 12 minus 12 J 3 minus 0 3 K under root of 4 square square plus 3 square so f bar is minus 4 divided by 30 minus 0.3 times f times i 12 divided by 13 minus 0.92 times F times J and 3 divided by 13 is plus approximately 0.25 F times K what is R bar? R bar is 0 I plus R Y J plus 0 K this system is concurrent can we write R bar equals to R bar equal to P bar plus F bar plus T bar. Vector sum of three vectors. Vector sum of three vectors. What is R bar? 0i plus minus Ryj. We don't know Ry plus 0k. We are very sure about x component and z component. Now from this you have to collect the coefficients of i, j, k from this term, this term and this term. This one is 108. This one is 0. This one is minus 0.3. Now collect coefficient of j. Minus 216. Minus 0.3. 8p minus 0.92f times j plus k component is 72 72 from this minus 0.6p and last term is plus 0.25f and this one is multiplied by k. Now compare coefficients of i, j, k. So you can first compare coefficient of i. On the left hand side is 0. This one is 108 minus 0.3f 
So your first answer is F equals to. Now I will compare I have known value of K component. So K component. Left hand side is 0. Right hand side is 72. Minus 0.6P. Plus 0.25F. Solve this, you will get value of P. Now, by this time, once you know F and P, can we find out the ROI value? So, you can find out ROI by using J component. So, find out ROI. So, ROI equals to J component. Put this value and find out ROI. If ROI is T3, means that is the value of R is going vertically downward it will go vertically downward because value is what negative so this vector is parallel to which axis y axis